Hi, and welcome to Ocean People. We are a family of four getting ready to sail the world full time. In this video, we've just signed the contract on our boat and have been invited out for a sail with some other potential buyers to get a feel for the boat and have a lovely sail. Come along with us and stay until the end to see a walkthrough of the Fountain Peugeot Elba 45 Catamaran. <laughs> Is that a good spot? Not yet. Oh, you look crazy happy. <laughs> what do you think? Fountain Peugeot have a range of models starting at the Isla 40, Astra 42, the Elba 45, which is what we're on today, the Tanner 47, which is what we've ordered. They also have a 51, a 59, and an 80 foot version. The number at the end of the model name is the size. So our boat will be 47 foot, which is about 14 meters in length overall. So just a bit bigger than this Fountain Peugeot 45. We are so thankful to the owners, Gordon and Lou, who allowed us to come out for a sail and explore their boat because it gives us a really good insight into the quality of the build and just being able to visualize and understand what living on the water is going to be like. This is where you um, Relax. see your star. Oh, is it? So this isn't our boat, this is their boat, but we're ordering a boat that's like this, but just a little bit bigger. So whose room would this be on our boat? Um, this one's mine. That has the steps on the wall. And then what about this room up here? That's Harry's. Did you see the bathrooms as well? They have their own bathrooms. Harry's. Do you want to see mine? Am I meant to get through? Say excuse me. It's a golden wall. Hello. Come in. Is it nice? What's it for? So this here is the sail. It's basically what they call a rope shackle. Yeah. The beauty yeah. of Fontaine Bajos is I'm doing everything without having to climb up there. So the, the first reef is a single line, the second reef is a single line for the back, but you've got to clip the front. But a lot of people do modify that and make it so that all of the reefs are done single line, so that that way you don't have to leave them there. Because we are not sailors yet, a lot of the sail selections and the way the boat is rigged up is not familiar to us yet. So when we're going through our selections, we had to do so much research and relied on our broker and Facebook groups and forums to get advice. A purple grey. That's right, you like those, don't you? Mm. This is where we live, on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. And this is also where James and I met many years ago. And we absolutely love it here. 
It's a great place to live and bring up a family. Thank you so much to Multi Health Solutions and Gordon and Lou for having us out on your catamaran today. This boat is currently for sale, so I will add a link in the description below if you're interested in a ready to sail, beautiful catamaran. I wanted to have a really good walk through the Elba 45. I wanted to open some cupboards and get an idea on the available space. Honestly, I am really, really nervous about moving from a big house to a boat and how that's going to work with two kids while we work remotely and homeschool and travel. I'm slowly downsizing and learning about how little we actually need. I wouldn't say that I've ever been a minimalist, but I do aspire to be one. This is some really good video if you're currently looking at this type of boat or if you want to see what our living space is going to be like when we move on board our own boat. So come along as we do this walkthrough. So there's hanging space. Not full length. Not full length, no. And there's, sorry guys, I'm going to open those drawers. I was quite surprised at how shallow the drawers were in the kitchen. Hanging space. Is this going to be a mom and dad's there's more kitchen storage. It's hard to get on, guys. Is it? Can I see him? Yeah. And there's like. Turn this up the pillows.
finally not doing anything secret in here. We're not. Mm. Oh, Alright, oh, let's go into your bedroom. Okay. James was responsible for most of the selections, especially the electronics, and he loves all the gadgets. I'll share our full selections in a future video, so subscribe if you want to see what we went for. I was only really persistent with one thing, the hydraulic swim platform upgrade, which the tender will sit on. Mainly for the fun of swimming up to and sitting on the platform, but also on our previous boat, the tender was always such a hassle.
there is little hidden storage everywhere, under the seat cushions and under the floors, I'm hoping to find a good secret chocolate and lolly stash location. We hope you enjoyed this video. Coming up in our next videos, we'll take you along with us as we learn to sail, fight seasickness, and get ready to pack up and leave Australia. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. Thanks again for watching.